Hej, witajcie moi drodzy, z tej strony Arturo, witam was wszystkich na swoim kanale i kontynuujemy przygodę z George'em Stobardem oraz Nico Gollard w Broken Sword 2.5 Powrót Templariuszy. Dotarliśmy przed Hotel Ubu. Jak widać są tutaj flagi z różnych państw. Jest jakaś tablica ogłoszeniowa, przeczytajmy ją. The chalkboard is fine where it is. The chalkboard displays the different meals the hotel has on offer. Today's special is chicken fillet with chips. Mmm, frytki i filet z kurczaka. Moje ulubione danie. Oh no. Coś to za złoczyńcy. Monsieur Stobar, nice to see you again. I can't say it's nice to see you. Flap, stop waving the gun around, will ya? Sorry, Guido. So, Monsieur Stobart, may I beg you to move? We don't want to make a scene, do we? No scene? No scene? Do you expect me to let myself be shot just like that? If you cooperate, nothing will happen to you. For the moment. Okay, możemy z nimi porozmawiać. What do you want? Oh, come on, Stobart. Don't be stupid. Since you stuck your nose into things that were none of your business seven years ago, you've been number one on the list of enemies of the Templars. Stop that garbage. The Templars are gone! If you say so. Just a coincidence that your girlfriend met with people who call themselves the Templars, don't you think? Liar! Nico would never get involved with those idiots. I could see a broad smirk spreading all over his face. You've met Mademoiselle Collard today? Yes, why? I'm just curious. If you touch her... That need not concern you anymore. Not since she's been going out with that fair-haired history professor. Andre? Right, that's his name. The two make an excellent match, don't you think, Monsieur Stobart? Another lie. Every word that leaves your mouth is a lie, Guido! How did you manage to get out of the church in Bannockburn, anyway? None of your business. Can I shoot him now? Not yet, Flap. Not yet. Oh, man. Can't we just be friends? What? And lose out on two million euros? What are two million euros compared to a real, long-lasting friendship? So, the Templars still exist? Yes, and they're stronger than before. If you think you wiped out all the Templars during your Scottish adventure, you are sadly mistaken, Mr. Stobart. And you guys work for them again? Monsieur Stobart. We are the kind of people who are often called mercenaries. We get our money, and that's all that counts for matters to us. Believe me, that's gonna change. I'll stop you again this time, even if I have to travel around the globe for it. Ah, but you see, Monsieur Stobart, that's exactly what Flap and I are here to prevent. Ah, <sighs> that was close. No i udało nam się uciec tym złoczyńcom, których zresztą pamiętamy z pierwszej części Broken Sword'a. Tak samo jak ten hotel, też już go zwiedzaliśmy. Eee, mały chłopiec, bawiący się jojo, pogadajmy z nim. Afternoon, boy. Hello. Hello, who are you? I'm George Stobart. That's a weird name. No, it's not. But it is. No, listen. Stobart is a perfectly normal name. Stobby? <laughs> My name is not weird, okay? Stobber, Stobby, Stobbo. Who would have imagined this? I travel halfway around the world to have an argument about my name with a boy with the intelligence of a banana. My dad has a better name than you, mister. So, what's his name then? Flap? No, nope. Ferdinand Irvine. Where's your father now? He went out. Told me to wait here, but he ain't come back yet. Hmm. Stobart zawsze był pośmiewiskiem innych ludzi. 
Ogólnie powiem wam, że jest to fanowska gra, ale głos to barda jest strasznie przesterowany, strasznie głośno jest nagrany i to przeszkadza troszeczkę. What's that toy you're playing with? It's a Freggy. A Fremmy? Freggy, don't you know anything? It's sort of rubber ball. Looks funny. When did you last see your father? About three hours ago. Mhm. Czyli dzieciak jest synem tego e, reportera, którego my musimy znaleźć. Tego dziennikarza, reportera. Mhm. Odnośnie templariuszy, coś mi się wydaje, że to nie są prawdziwie templariusze, tylko jakaś sekta stworzona przez fanatyków. <laughs> good afternoon. A good afternoon, monsieur. What can I do for you? Have you recovered from the shock? I beg your pardon? I know I shouldn't have let her loose on you, but I had no other option. If you understand. No, uh, no, I don't understand. Lady Piermont, the pianist and magistrate. Ah, oh, oui, the madame in violet, the beast, mon ami. Oh, well, she wasn't that bad. A little eccentric, but okay. You are not her target, if you don't mind me saying. I guess you're right. I'd like to hire a room, please. Oh, one moment, please. I'm afraid we don't have any rooms left. Really? But there doesn't seem to be much going on here. As that might be your first impression, but come the evening, come the guests. This hotel will be busy then. Damn it. Pardon? Never mind, just thinking out loud. No tak, nie ma wolnych pokoi, więc nic nie możemy wynająć. Ale tak czy inaczej udamy się na pierwsze piętro. Mm, jak widać, leży tutaj karteczka jakaś. Probably not. It's a hotel reservation belonging to a certain Ferdinand Irwin. Double room, one adult, one child. Hiding Irwin in a well-known hotel is not the most creative idea the Parisian police ever had to protect the witness. If I can just get into that room... No właśnie, musimy dostać się jakoś do tego pokoju, w którym mieszka ten gościu. Znaczy, wynajmuje pokój. Mhm. Mm Ale żeby to zrobić, musimy pogadać jeszcze raz z chłopcem. A dokładniej dać mu kartkę z tą rezerwacją. Hey, little man. Hello. It's a hotel reservation for a person called... Ferdinand Irwin. Hi, me again. Hello, Stobby. Listen, would you like to play a little game? Oh yeah, a game. Freggy. Gets boring after a while. Here's the deal. We'll go to the receptionist together. Repta... what? That man over there. Uh-huh. And there we're gonna play father and son, alright? Sounds good. Hmm. Cóż za zabawa? Ojciec i syn. Me again. I can see that. What can I do for you this time? I reserved the room. Ah, uh, have you? May I see your reservation? There you go. Mr. Ferdinand Irvine and son? Brian. Arthur. Pardon? Arthur. Brian is his middle name. Okay, the here's the key to room number 122. Thanks. I wish you and your son a pleasant stay. <laughs> Gdyby dostanie się do pokoju hotelowego, byłoby takie proste. Myślę, że wielu ludzi by to wykorzystywało i mieszkało sobie za darmo. A ten mamy dzieciak jest moim imiennikiem, Artur. <laughs> No dobra, mamy klucz do pokoju. Wejdźmy do środka zatem. I zobaczmy, co tam znajdziemy. I don't have anywhere to put it in. Jak to nie masz gdzie? Do kieszeni. Mamy jakąś teczkę. 
The first picture shows the assassination attempt on Mayor Lemire. A short distance from the action, a person catches my eye. Hastily running away, she's looking over her shoulder. As if she's been caught doing something wrong. She's a medium-sized, slender, obviously wearing a bad wig. Wait a minute. I know that face. I is that Nico? The second picture was taken at night, but I instantly recognized the place it was taken. Mafasan. Some people wearing robes, almost impossible to make out. Somehow I have a feeling that there wasn't a children's birthday party. There's a woman in the middle. She seems to be talking to someone. I have a bad feeling about this. The third picture confirms my instinct. It's a close of the woman. It's Nico! She's about to pull the hood deep over her face. Ivan must have taken the shot just moments earlier. Who's she talking to? An older man is standing next to her. His robe is different from those the others are wearing. It's more elaborate. Around his neck, he's wearing a big brown cross. The Templar's Cross! Definitely their leader, Big Boss, has turned his face away from the camera. I can't see who he is. I don't know how Nico got into this mess, but I have to help her as quickly as possible. It's time to get some answers from Nico. Okay, czyli co? Musimy wrócić się do domu Nico, tak? A Georgia, czy ty nie możesz wziąć tego zdjęcia i tego wszystkiego? No, I'd better leave it here. No, ja bym wziął. I wtedy ten gościu nie miałby rzeczy, żeby szantażować Nico. <śmiech> no, ale byłoby to podejrzane, prawda? No dobra, wyjdziemy na zewnątrz. Mam nadzieję, że nie natrafimy znowu na tych bandziorów. Nie ma ich. Możemy iść tu zobaczyć, co się znajduje. Mhm. No dobra, wracamy na Rio Jerry. Wait a minute, what's this? A parade? There are huge barriers blocking the way to Rougeri. Just my luck. I must find another way. Jest impreza, są klauni. Możemy z innym pogadać. Hi, there's a lot going on, huh? Have you been standing here all day? Sprechen Sie Dutch? Parlez von Francais? His eyes tell me that he understands all right. He just doesn't want to talk. I hate clowns. No ja też nienawidzę klaunów, dlatego nie chodzę do cyrku. Byłem tylko raz w życiu jako dziecko i nie podobało mi się. Hello, excuse me, sorry, could I... Hello? They don't even notice me. Pardon me. Oh, uh, hello. Could you tell me what's being celebrated here? Yes, this is the traditional opening march. Opening what? You don't know? The annual Parisian city market. It will open its gates tomorrow. That's interesting. Can you tell me how to get to Rougerie? Uh, that's just bad luck, monsieur. The parade will take about two hours. But I have to get there. My girlfriend lives there. I live there myself. I should be at home with my wife and kids, but c'est la vie, monsieur. Come on, celebrate with us instead of complaining. Thanks, but I'm not in the mood for parades. Besides, two psychotic killers are chasing me. Would you celebrate if you were me? That sounds really exciting. Believe me, I'll take dull any day of the week. I can't wait till the parade is over. There must be another way. I'm off. Enjoy the parade. Thanks, and good luck, monsieur. Good luck, monsieur. Ok, musimy jakoś dostać się, ale jest ta parada, która nam przeszkadza. No, ale my mamy swój własny sposób, jak ją ominąć. Bierzemy sobie nożyczki i przycinamy balonik temu chłopczykowi. 
<laughs> that balloon bursts like a bubble. I like it. The passers-by don't. They look at me even more grimly than that goat that time in Lunch Mart. At least there's a passage now. Ale George jest chamski. Matka kupiła dziecko balonik, a my po prostu go przebiliśmy. That's just my luck. No, I hate pushing boxes. Nikt nie każe przesyłać pudeł, jest tutaj psiok. Do I look deranged? <laughs> no, pies nie chce nas przepuścić. Damy mu loda o smaku skarpetek. Yes, nice doggy. Jak widać, leżą tu inne lody. I'd better not touch them. Więc ktoś już próbował tą metodę, którą my zastosowaliśmy. Z powrotem w mieszkaniu Niko. I was told that my uncle was part of their cult. George, at the time I had no idea that it was the Neo Templars. I only wanted to help him. I infiltrated their order under the false name of Christine Wu to get my uncle out of there. But when I met him, there I was stunned. His eyes were just empty like a dead man's gaze. It was very disturbing. He seemed to have been drugged. But worse than that, he kept stammering the word gate. Do you know what he meant by that? No idea. It's possible that it was just the drugs. That would explain both his gaze and his stammering. Why was your uncle part of the Templars anyway? I guess he couldn't resist the temptation. Temptation? Yes, George. Two million euro. <laughs> hey, on second thought, the Templars aren't such bad folks after all. But this talk about a gate worries me still. But that's probably a result of the drugs. True. It could be. But maybe it has something to do with the Templars' plans. You might be right. Where would you start your investigation? Hmm. The only one who knew about my plan was a good friend of André. A good friend? Yes, a friend. Nothing more. What's his name? Jimmy McLough, an English historian, whose main field is the Templars. Why did you let him in? Because he could provide me with inside information about the Order. Have you met him in person? No, I avoided that. After all, it might have been a trap. We only exchanged emails. So he's never actually seen you or heard your voice? No. Do you think he might have given you away? It's possible. Maybe I should pay him a little visit. I don't think that's a good idea, George. The Templars are involved with everything. So why not with McLough? But we can't just sit and wait until the Templars get what they want. Who knows what they're up to this time? Hmm. Where can I find this Jimmy McLaugh? He has a mansion in York, England. England, huh? I've never been there. And it means something if there's a place I've never been to. George, please stop bragging. But it's a fact. Where exactly can I find McLaugh? As I've said, I've never met him. But as André told me... Then we'll never find him. Can't you forget your childish rivalry for one minute? Not for a second. Anyway, you should start at the York Library. McLaugh is a scholar, so he should be registered there. Maybe you can find his address in the personal file. Take a map at the airport. The library should be on there. Will do. I better be going. Wish me luck. Okay, George. Take care of yourself. I'll ring you as soon as the plane lands. Okay. Czyli co? Udajemy się do Anglii, tak? Widziałem, że Niko nie wstąpiła do Templariuszy. Ona po prostu chciała uratować swojego wujka. Który uległ pokusie 2 milionów euro. Hmm, dość wysoka kwota. Czy ja bym się nie pokusił? <laughs> Musimy odnaleźć też przyjaciela Andrę. Niby przyjaciel. Tak naprawdę nie jestem pewny, czy on ma dobre zamiary względem Niko. This is a York map. I'm over here. And the public library is over here. 
A to udajme si do biblioteky. There isn't much going on. What's that hammering noise? As I turn my head toward the Victorian desk, I see the source of the insufferable noise. The librarian is torturing her keyboard. I hate computers. Might be connected to the fact that I'm not very computer literate. Jak możesz się nie znać na komputerach, George? Wszyscy w dzisiejszych czasach się na nich znają. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, please. Yes, please. Do you know anything about the Templars? Only a little. They were a pop group that made quite a splash in the 60s, you know. The ones with the mop top hairdos. I think the group you're talking about were the Beatles. The Templars are some sort of chivalric order whose descendants tried to take over the world recently. You don't believe me, do you? Not really, sir. <laughs> Templariusze z fryzorami na grzybka. To by mogły być ciekawe. Chociaż tak naprawdę nigdy nie wiadomo, co kryje się pod tą ich płachtą. There's not much going on today, is there? You're right. It's because Revolution Software is holding a public launch of their new computer game. It's called Broken Sword. Do you know it? I don't, and to be honest, it doesn't really sound that great. I don't think it'll be a success. In a few weeks, no one will be talking about it anymore. <laughs> Ale hamskie. So, what are you writing there? None of your business. Sorry, I only asked. I was joking, sir. My late mum always told me be friendly and funny to all the people you meet. Yeah, very funny. Stop making fun of me. I'm sorry, I... I was just taking the mickey out of you. Stop it. Okay, I see. You're not a humorous person. Yes, I am. I can be extremely funny. Why did the blonde climb up a glass wall? Uh, there was someone outside the door who told me that joke. Don't you think that kind of joke is cruel? Well, let's change the subject. Hmm. Nigdy nie mówcie dowcipu w oblodynkach przy blondynkach. No bo nie. Po prostu nie. Nie róbcie tego. I need some information about one of your members, Jimmy McGlaw. I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Because I can't just hand out private information to a complete stranger. Data protection, you see. Sure, but I'm not a stranger, am I? Aren't you? Then you must be Michael Burns, the one Mr. McClough said was his best friend. Hmm. Mamy ją okłamać, czy powiedzieć prawdę? Powiemy prawdę. No, I'm not Michael Burns. At least you didn't lie to me. I made the name up. Can you make an exception? It's really important. I'm afraid not. No cóż, za dużo się nie dowiedzieliśmy. <sighs> well, thanks anyway. Bye. Bye! Bye! No way, I'm not taking it. I'm not old-fashioned, but... I prefer more plain calendars, without these awful pictures that completely destroy the mood. <laughs> My mood, at least. Ja dobra, kalendarza wziąć nie możemy. Tu leży jakaś piłka. Who knows? Might be useful. Kto zostawia piłkę w bibliotece? I haven't read a book not dealing with the Templars in a while. A ja nie przeczytałem książki od... od... <śmiech> nie pamiętam nawet. Ostatnią książkę, którą przeczytałem, to był chyba Harry Potter i Zakon Feniksa. Excuse me. Yes? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. Ah, uh, hi. My name's David. Hi, David. Hey, David. Wiesz coś o Templariuszach? Does the word Templar ring any bells? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I'm studying animal science and it's nothing about animals, is it? Actually, it kind of is. A weasel and a gorilla are working for them. A weasel and a gorilla? How? Uh, that's a long story. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of a rush with this. I have to hand in my essay next Monday. And I haven't even half finished. Cheer up. I'm sure you'll make it. Thanks. I wish I had your confidence. 
<laughs> Gare li washita. Do you know if the librarian's always so strange? You mean Mrs. Leroy? Not always. She's just having a bad day today. Her computer, the one she watches over like her own child, has already crashed twice today. It's made her a little jumpy. Now she has to catch up on an incredible amount of work, which explains why she's literally bludgeoning her keyboard. Why did her computer crash? Because some electrical cable in the basement doesn't work properly. It takes at least an hour until that can be repaired. And now, poor Miss Leroy has to do all the work by herself. Don't you have a janitor? The caretaker is at a presentation. Something about a computer game. I see. Listen, David, can you tell me where I find the fuse box in the basement? What do you want to do there? Things. Well, down the stairs, second door to the right, then left and down the corridor. Thanks, I wouldn't have found it by myself. Now I know where to go in the basement. No to się udamy do piwnicy. Troszkę pomajstrujemy. Może uda nam się jakoś wykorzystać panią bibliotekarkę. I zajrzymy do jej akt. Damn, it's stuck. I can't open it with my bare hands. No, ale mamy śrubokręt. This should work. There's something written on it. In case of emergency, press the three buttons in the correct order. Electrical current will be disconnected. Damn, I don't know the right order. Mm -hmm. Czyli musimy wyłączyć źródło prądu, tak? Przeważnie w grach jest taka kombinacja. Mrs. Leroy leaves her desk. Hmm, let's see. Here's the card index. Manish, Marworth, McKinsley. Aha, there it is. McLaw, Rangersfield Hall. Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Czyli mamy adres kolesia. Musimy się tam udać. Rangersfield. Somehow, I feel nervous. Cóż za Javira, to jest willa. This stately home somehow reminds me of the Villa de Vasconcelos. Mhm, mm bo ładnie wygląda, jest nawet tęcza. <śmiech> Możemy wejść do środka jakoś? To jest dzwonek. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Stobart. George Stobart. I have an appointment with Mr. McGlaw. Strange. He didn't tell me about it. Besides, he has a visitor right now. It's really important. Okay, come in. I'll show you the way. Thanks. Mr. McGlaw's room is at the end of the Northwest Passage. It must be cold up there in the Arctic region. Thanks very much. <laughs> Okej, okay, tutaj się znajdują te drzwi. Słuchaj, że ktoś tam gada. Without a seal, we won't have a chance. That could cause problems. And you think this American knows something? Definitely, he's real nosy. If you're right, you'll get all the necessary information about the order. How will we catch him, Jimmy? I've had two of my best men take care. Should be here soon. Even though I can't stand the man, we did agree that you wouldn't hurt him. You only want his information. Sure, that's what I said. Could I use your toilet, please? Of course, it's just down the corridor. George! Andre, you sneaky traitor! It's not what you think. They only want to talk to you. Mm hmm. Zdrajca. A Niko się z nim umawiała. Uciekamy. <laughs> hmm. 
No i znowu te bandziory. O oh, no! Mr. Stobart, we'll talk to you later. In the meantime, you can get familiar with your new roommate. If you aren't familiar already, that is. Nowym współwięźniem bardziej bym powiedział, kto to jest. Ah! You seem surprised, Mr. Stobart. How did you... You're not the only one who can play tricks. But I saw you lying dead on the floor of the train compartment. Immediately before I got on the train to Bannockburn, I put on a bulletproof vest. After all, unlike you, I knew what was ahead of us and who we would encounter along the way. A blood cartridge was an incredibly useful means to feign my own death. And how did you escape? That's a very long story. Jesteśmy zamknięci, to możemy posłuchać tymczasem. I have followed George to England. I haven't heard from him since his arrival in York. That's not like him at all. I'm really worried. There's something in my bag, but the usual items carried by any woman and a phone number. Okej, okay, będziemy teraz sterować Niko, ale będziemy to robić w kolejnym odcinku, tak więc dzięki wielkie za uwagę, trzymajcie się piona!